Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. My name is Vineet and this is part 2 of Grab Tutorial. And in this video, we'll do a live demo covering all the options that were discussed in part 1. So for those of you who have not seen my previous video, I highly recommend you to first go and watch my previous video on Grab wherein I have covered all the theory aspect related to Grab command. In this video, we'll do a live demo of all those options that were discussed in part 1. Alright, so let's begin today's video. Alright, so here I am on my elementary Linux machine. Let me open up a terminal. And let me increase the font size. Now those of you who watched my previous video, part 1 on grep knows that grep has tons of options available and that is what makes it so powerful. Now there are multiple ways to achieve a result in grep so there's no one particular best way or one way of doing things. There are multiple options that are available and the same result can be achieved by different options. Important thing to note here is that you learn by practice and you learn by your experience. So the more you use grep, the better you become in it. Now first, let's check the version of grep that I'm currently running. To do that, type grep and give a space dash capital V for version. So it says I'm running GNU grep version 2.16. Let's also quickly verify that I'm running the current version, which is available in the stable repo of elementary OS. To do that, type apt cache policy grep. And as you can see, the candidate version is 2.16, which is the same as the installed version. So I'm running the latest version, which is available in the repo of elementary OS. And as you can see, I'm currently under a test directory. And under this directory, I have three text files, one of which is countries.txt. And this file contains names of all the countries in the world along with their capital. So I'll use this file for our demonstration purpose. Now let's start with the most basic usage of grep. Let's check if the word Japan is available in countries.txt. To do that type grep and in single quotes type Japan and give the file countries.txt. As you can see grep has found a match. So we have the search tag Japan along with its capital Tokyo. So grep has printed the complete line. Now the other input method that is available in grep is instead of giving a file to search, you can also provide a complete directory containing files in it. So to do that type grep dash R for recursive and then let's give the same text Japan. And then now you can either use period symbol, which is for the current directory, or you can also type in the complete path to the directory. So let's type home XPS tech test directory. Now, this is the current directory that we are currently in. So now if I press enter, now as you can see, grep has found two matches. The output line starts with the file where the match occurred and then the match text. Now you can also provide input from standard in. Any command that can be run in terminal, we can pipe it through grep. For example, ifconfig will give configuration of all the interfaces that your computer has. Now you can also pipe it through grep. So if I type ifconfig, give a space and pipe it through grep and search for eth0. Now this gives us only the line where ETH0 is present. So this way you can pipe any command that can be run in a terminal. You can pipe it through grep. You can basically use it as a filter for your other commands. One another example, you can also cat countries.txt and then give grep Japan. That will give us the same output. Similarly, you can use TCP dump and pipe it through grep so that the output is displayed only from a particular IP address or a particular website. Now instead of normal string, we can also provide regular expression or extended regular expression for our search text. Let's take an example of regular expression. So if I want to find out the names of all the countries that starts with the alphabet J, I can just use the caret symbol and J and give countries.txt file. 
So as you can see, we have the output of all the lines that starts with the alphabet J. Similarly, you can use the dollar sign to find out all the lines that ends with a particular alphabet. So let's find out all the lines that ends with the alphabet E. There you go. Now to find out all the lines that starts with the alphabet A, B or C, you can use the square brackets and type A, B, C and the single quote and give countries.txt. I'm sorry, I forgot to use the carrot symbol. So let's use, give the carrot symbol. All right, so we do not have any output. This is because grep is case sensitive. So to tell grep to ignore case, just use the dash i option. And now you have all those lines that starts with A, B or C. Now instead of typing ABC, you can also use hyphen, which is the range indicator. So anything between A to C will be matched. So you have the same output. Now if you want to invert this, that is if you want to find out all the lines that do not start with A, B or C, you can use the square brackets with caret. So let's type the following grep dash I for ignore case, then start of the quote carrot symbol for start of the line then inside square bracket use a carrot a dash c and the square bracket and end the single quote and provide the file now we have the output of all those lines that do not start with a b or c all right next let's find out all the countries that start with the alphabet f and has fourth character as the alphabet n to do that type grep dash i ignore case then starts with letter f and then fourth character as n so for that we can use the period symbol one two the fourth character to be n and provide the countries.txt so as you can see we have the output france which starts with the alphabet f and the fourth character is the alphabet n now you can also use the star symbol which tell grabs to use the preceding character zero or more times. If I use dot star, it will match all those lines that starts with F and has the character N in it. So let's find that out. So as you can see, we have two output, Finland and France. Now let's try out some of the examples of extended regular expressions. To use extended regular expression, we use the option dash capital E. Let's also use ignore case and let's give a question mark this will tell grep to output all those lines that starts with j and the next alphabet a is optional so if the line do not have a still it will print the output all right so let's check that out so as you can see it has find two lines that starts with the uh, alphabet j and has the second alphabet as a and there's one jordan because the alphabet a is optional now similarly instead of question mark you can use the plus symbol which will tell grep to use the preceding character a in this case one or more times so this time we will not have the output jordan similarly we can tell grep how many times to use the alphabet using the curly braces so if i type one which will tell grep to match a exactly one time if i type two will not have any output because grep will search for any line that has j a a so we do, do not have any output. So with curly braces, you have three more options, comma at the end, which will tell grep to match two or more times, comma at the beginning, which will tell grep to match at, at most two times. And you can also provide two numbers separated by comma, example two comma five. This will tell grep to match preceding character two times, but not more than five times. Now at last we have the options there are tons of options available with grep just so that we don't miss any of them and for the sake of understanding let's go through all the options in alphabetical order all right so first up is the capital a option which will tell grep to print that many number of leading lines so if i type dash a and give the number one it will tell grep to print one leading line from our matched line. The matched line contains Japan, which is our source text, and the output has one leading line from our matched line. Similarly, you have dash capital B, which is for trailing lines or previous line. Next up is the 
capital C option which will print both one leading as well as one trailing line. Then you have dash lowercase b option which will tell grep to print the byte offset of our matched search text. As you can see the output starts with the byte offset 1641. This means that our matched text Japan is at 1641 bytes from the starting of the file. Next up is dash lowercase c option. Now this option will print the number of times the match occurred in the file. As you can see it has printed the output as 1. Alright next is the capital E option that is for extended regular expression and that I have already covered. Then you have lowercase e option which is to give multiple search strings. So if I want to search for Japan and another search string let's say France I can do that by using the dash e option. So it has printed the output. Now this can also be achieved using the extended regular expression sep special character which is the pipe symbol and let's give the extended regular expression option as you can see we have the same output all right next you have the capital F option that is to tell grep that the search string does not contain any special character and it's a fixed string for example if I do 192 dot now dot will not be replaced as any character if I use the dash F option all right I have a win txt file which contains the IP address. Now if I do not use the capital F option it will print the following uh, output because it will take the dot character as the special character which is used to replace any character in its place. Now you can also use the backslash to tell grep uh, to cancel the special meaning of dot operator Now this will also give us the same result. Next is the dash lowercase f option. Now this is used to provide a file in place of a search string. For example here I have a file search file.txt which contains few search string. Now using the dash lowercase f option I can provide this search file in place of a search string and as you can see grep matches each characters from our search file with the countries.txt file. Alright next is dash capital G option. Now this is the default option. This tells grep that the search text is a regular expression. Alright, next we have dash capital H option. The dash capital H option will print the file name along with the matched line. So if I give the dash lowercase h option will not print the name of the file along with the output. Alright, this is important when you have given a directory to search. Next you have dash lowercase i option which is to ignore case and that we have already covered. Next you have dash capital L option. This will print only the name of the files where the match did not take place. And similarly you have dash lowercase l option. This will print the names of those files where match took place not the entire matched line. Next you have lowercase m option along with a number. For example if I do lowercase m and a number 2 and let's change our search text to any line that starts with the alphabet j and let's give countries.txt to search. Now this will tell grep to stop after two matches. Alright so as you can see it has given us only two output if I give three it will give us three output. Alright next you have lowercase n option that will print the line number where match took place along with the matched line. So you have Jamaica at line number 86 then Japan at 87 and 88 you have the text Jordan. Next you have dash lowercase o option. This will pr tell grep to print only the matched part of the line and not the entire line. So if I do dash o now it will only print the matched text which is j. Alright next you have dash lowercase r op which is to recurse a directory that we have already covered and next you have dash uppercase t option which is to give tabbed output. So if I do grep dash t and let's say I w also want to print the line number and let's ignore the case and all those lines that starts with the alphabet j 
So as you can see, we have a tabbed output for easy reading. Next, you have lowercase v option, which is for invert match. So let's give a regular expression as any line that starts with B to Z. So this should only print line that do not start with B to Z. As you can see, we have the output of all the lines which do not start with B to Z. Similarly, you have the dash W option. This will tell grep to match only those lines which contains our search text as a complete word, not just a part of a word. So for example, if I provide any line that starts with J, it will not print any output because we do not have J as a single word. So if I do Japan, it will print the output. All right, next is dash lowercase x option that will tell grep to match the entire line not just a part of a line or not just a word. So if I now do Japan, it will not give me any output because Japan is not the complete line. We also have the word Tokyo in it. All right. All right. Finally, we have reached the end of this video. I know it's been quite a long video, but believe me, guys, it's time well spent because grep will prove to be such a useful command in your arsenal of commands and every advanced Linux user should have a good grip i'm sorry good grip on the grep command so i hope now you're comfortable with grep command if you like this video kindly press the like button if you have any comment or suggestion please type that in the comment box and a huge shout out to all the subscribers of xps tech channel thank you guys and i'll see you next time